Good morning, church. We are uh, at another weekend is already upon us. And on Sunday morning, we're starting a brand new series of messages on prayer, how Jesus uh, draws us into a school of prayer so we can be learners and uh, learn what it means to talk with him and listen to him and be interactive when it comes to prayer. And so I invite you to be a part of that. We also have a, uh, a new protocol. Uh, our governor last uh, Friday uh, made an announcement that we will be uh, uh, required as uh, public buildings to have masks on anytime we're gathered inside the building. And uh, so we are going to move our language from we are recommending masks for those who attend our service in person on Sunday to uh, we are requiring masks for those who uh, attend our service on Sunday. And so we want to invite you, unless you're five years of age or under, uh, to come prepared for that. And uh, if you have a mask, bring it with you. If you don't have a mask, we have some masks here. We'd be glad to provide them for you. And uh, this is not us bending to another political order uh, or we are not responding out of fear but i believe that god is inviting us to uh, do a couple things uh, to make space for others uh, to uh, to wind back our um, our, uh, our passing this uh, virus on from one person to another and to uh, to try to get a handle on the curve again and uh, this is uh, this is a big ask for some and not a big ask for others some don't care a lot about wearing a mask they are okay with that and they'll put that on at any time and others feel like I'm giving up my rights well, I believe this, as followers of the kingdom of God, not just citizens of the United States, God invites us to lay aside our rights on more than one occasion. And almost always, it is to benefit someone else. And so I wanna invite you to be willing to be a part of this and uh, to, uh, to lay aside uh, uh, your uh, agenda, to lay aside your preference perhaps, uh, and to choose to say, I wanna be in church bad enough that I'm willing to put on a mask for uh, an hour so that I can worship and participate with my fellow believers. Uh, and we are going to be invited, as you have been doing over and over and over over these last few months, to respond out of generosity and out of love. Uh, Paul says in, uh, in the epistle to the church, I'm willing to stop eating meat if that will help someone else encounter a relationship with God. And so uh, uh, we're inviting you to lay aside something like that, to set aside something that is maybe important to you. In fact, historically, the Church of the Nazarene has had stands on this about our alcohol use. We don't believe that drinking a, beer, a glass of beer or wine at a dinner is a sin, but we have chosen to lay aside the right to do that so that we would not cause a brother to stumble. And this is in the same context. I'm willing to put on a mask so that I can help someone. Uh, this last week, I heard someone say, I don't think I can wear a mask for an entire hour. In fact, when I announced this on Sunday, they, they were kind of wrestling with that. And the Holy Spirit seemed to whisper to their heart, you just spent two hours sitting in a chair with a mask over your face so you could get your hair done. Certainly you could wear a mask for an hour so you could come and worship me. Well, I don't want to put guilt or, or manipulate anyone, but the reality is that God's Spirit does draw us to that kind of a response. To say, what's really the most important in this moment? Is my right to be mask-free more important than my right to, to be a part of a family of church believers that stand by and help and encourage one another? And so uh, we're going to uh, ask you, uh, we're going to request, no, we're going to require, I guess is the right word, that those of us who join us in person on Sunday morning wear a mask. And uh, I thank you for your flexibility. I thank you for your generosity, for your loving, and for your trusting uh, and your willingness to lay aside the rights that you have so that you can bless someone else and encourage them. 
I do need to be clear though, the governor's order also stipulates that those who are standing on the platform, either uh, speaking a, uh, in, in a public speaking setting or those who are leading a religious service are not required to wear a mask during that time. So the people on the platform actually participating in the service in that way will not have masks until they come back and sit down with the rest of us. And uh, so I want you to know that God has something to say to you this weekend. So if you could be here with us in person, that's amazing. We wanna celebrate with you and we'll be at the regular protocols. If you haven't been sick, if you haven't been around anybody, uh, if you haven't traveled internationally, uh, those things are certainly still requirements that we're asking you to consider. Uh, we're asking you to sanitize as you walk in the building and have your mask on when you get there to, uh, to walk from the foyer into the sanctuary and find a place where there's social distancing and all that. And uh, then we're going to ask, this is the change. We're going to ask you to leave your mask on during our worship service. And then at the end, be dismissed just like we have been doing. And uh, it's been great to be with you. And we love you. We love worshiping with you. And uh, we just uh, can't wait to experience what God wants to teach us this week about talking with him in prayer. And uh, we want to engage ourselves, enroll ourselves, in the school of prayer. So we invite you to do that as we gather together this Sunday morning, 1030. You can be here on campus. You can watch online at southnaz.org. You can watch our Facebook channel or our YouTube channel. You can watch anytime during the week on those venue or those platforms as well. And uh, we just want to encourage you to be a part of that and certainly want to encourage you to give as well as you've been faithfully doing. And uh, we just want to experience God's voice. Let's ask him to help us. Our gracious Heavenly Father, we, uh, we are standing at yet one of those times where we're, be, we're being asked to make a change in what we've been doing by, by people on the outside. And Father, there's, there's times where we resist that kind of command. But Father, I pray that you'll give us a willing and a gentle heart. Help us to be kind and generous towards one another. And Father, I pray that you will help us to, to respond to this challenge with generosity, with love, and trusting that you are at work among us and that we can bless others by our, our uh, simple act of putting a covering over our face. So Father, we pray that uh, you will help us to get past all of that and to hear your voice to us as we gather. As we watch online, we pray that you will speak to our hearts. You will remind us of this amazing invitation that you have given to us to bring everything on our hearts, everything in our minds, all the struggles and all the challenges and all the joys we face and bring them to you in, in a prayer offering. And Father, I pray that we will learn once again what it means to pray to you. And may you teach us in this school of prayer how we can connect with you better. And we thank you for your promise that if you abide in me and my words abide in you, you may ask whatever you wish and it shall be done for you. Help us to learn what it means to abide. Help us to learn what it means to come under the authority of your word and help us to experience all the goodness that you have for us as we speak to you in prayer and we learn more about that. In your name we pray, amen.